Hello, uh, my name is Burak Tatlıcı. Okay. Uh, I'm the founder of Tepikolik, uh, which is an 800,000 subscribed YouTube channel. So what we do in this YouTube channel is uh, I gather six or seven people together for an episode. I put a camera in front of them and I make them watch videos, uh, taste food or make them play video games. And while they are doing these things, I just record their reactions or comments and publish these reactions in my YouTube channel. It sounds easy, right? At least that was what I thought when I decided to create this YouTube channel. I was wrong. It is not uh, that easy. So today I will tell you the story of a YouTuber, my story. And I will definitely, definitely talk about the most speculated thing in Turkey about YouTubers, which is how much do we earn? So they are not real money, they are fake. We do not earn that much. Uh, my interest in YouTube started while I was in university in 2012. Uh, there was no channel concept in Turkey at those times, but there were many big YouTube channels in YouTube International, so I was watching their videos. And uh, I loved how they entertain people, how they teach them something, how they make them laugh or even cry. So the, the, the connection between the subscribers and the content creators were amazing. Uh, they were connected together. So when I graduated from my school, from my university, my first thing to do was to make job applications for the independent audit companies, which was my main uh, career goal. So my second thing to do was to create my first YouTube channel. I will not tell you the name. Uh, it was not that much of a successful uh, YouTube channel, but uh, it lasted short, but it helped me to understand uh, the mechanics of YouTube, the technical issues, uh, how to get connected with the subscribers. And one thing, it showed me one thing that changed my life. I learned that I can monetize videos, which means I can earn money from the uh, videos I created. So at that time, YouTube became my uh, alternative uh, career path. So after that, uh, I wanted to create a new channel, a long running channel and a more entertaining channel. Uh, that's how Tape Colleague came out in 2015 in my garage. So, I hope I can become like one of these one day, I hope. So I had a YouTube channel, I had a concept that I trust. Now the next thing I should be doing was to uh, find the reactors who would willingly uh, participate in my videos. However, no one around me, not a single person, was uh, taking YouTube seriously. So it took almost one month for me to find eight people for my videos. I convinced my friends, I convinced my neighbors, I convinced my sister's friends, which I had never seen before. Uh, my second problem, the second difficulty I faced was the equipment. So this is our first uh, studio. Uh, recording videos with a phone was a choice. Uh, some YouTubers today, some big YouTubers today started their YouTube channel uh, by recording their videos with a phone, but I wanted to make my videos more professional, but I didn't have the budget. So I borrowed my equipment from the ones I know. Uh, I borrowed my cousin's DSLR camera. I borrowed my musician friend's microphone. And as a matter of fact, I didn't have my own camera for five months after I created my YouTube channel. I didn't have my own microphone uh, for almost one year after I created my YouTube channel. I just borrowed them from the ones I know. Uh, then I finished shooting eight episodes, my first eight episodes of my channel. And the day came, my first video day. Uh, it was about teens reacting to a zombie prank in Mexico. So I published my video at 7 p.m. And by the way, uh, my first video day was uh, by coincidence the 23rd of April, uh, National Sovereignty and Children's Day. 
So I published my video at 7 p.m. and started to wait. I was observing the views. Uh, at first, I got one view, which was mine. <laughs> Two views, which was also mine. Three views, four views, and at the end of the day, I had 30 views. The half of them were mine, and the other half were uh, the ones who participate in my video. However, I had a great advantage. Uh, the reaction concept was very popular uh, in YouTube International, but no one has ever tried it in Turkey. So I was the first one. So it attracted the attention of the YouTube watchers and also the biggest YouTubers in Turkey. So three years passed, three months passed, not years, sorry, three months passed and I had 3,000 subscribers. I decided to make a reaction series with the biggest YouTubers in Turkey. So I sent invitation mails to them and it was crazy. Almost every YouTuber I sent invitation accepted my offer. So they came to my studio, we uh, shoot reaction videos with them and on the next month I had 50,000 subscribers. Everything was going terrific until I got accepted from one of the biggest independent audit companies as an auditor. I don't know why I took that selfie. Uh, so I entered into the corporate life with a 60,000 subscribed YouTube channel. At first I could handle both of them. I was working till 6 p.m. in my job and I was editing videos at night and I was shooting new videos on the weekend. Of course, this didn't work out on the long term. So, uh, the two, weeks, uh, two videos a week decreased to one video a week and that one decreased to zero after some time and at last it came to this, season finale. So I learned with the hard way that the corporate life and YouTube would not work together. So I decided to give a break to my YouTube channel uh, until I find a solution, of course. But the solution was very easy. The only solution was to choose either the corporate life or the risky path, YouTube. So now we all know what I have chosen. I chose YouTube, but I assure you it was the most difficult decision I've made in my life. Uh, we always see people that says, follow your dreams, pursue happiness. Well, I think the following, I thought that following and pursuing was the easy part. Uh, my concern was the ending. So what if I can't reach my dreams? What if things don't go as I planned? Uh, nothing was certain in YouTube. It was banned many years ago in our country. Who can say that it can't be banned in the future? If it is, who would watch our videos? Uh, I was a student 17 years. I was going to school for 17 years. For what? Making videos in my garage. What would my family say? I had all these questions. So what I did was I divided my decision into two parts. The emotional part and the logical part. We all know uh, the, what my emotional part decided, of course YouTube, but for the logic part, uh, I understood that I was looking YouTube on the uh, wrong side. So I started to look YouTube as a business enterprise. So at this situation, uh, I was an entrepreneur. I calculated the risks, I, uh, I look at the possible uh, difficulties I would face and the, the thing that impact me a lot that uh, helped me to choose the choose YouTube was that the potential of YouTube and actually the huge potential of social media the social media has a huge potential even now it didn't change so uh, with my emotional decision and my logical decision uh, I chose the risky path. I chose YouTube. So now I'm talking in TEDx. Uh, I don't know what the future will bring to me, but I think I made the right decision. So in 2016, I became a full-time YouTuber. Now the biggest concern I had was 
What will my family say to the ones who ask, what's your son's job? In 2016, a few people know what a YouTuber is, uh, who we are. Uh, so it was taking a lot of time to explain what I was doing. So they were just saying, I am a cameraman. It's, it was not wrong, it's still not wrong. Uh, I'm doing the uh, shootings myself, so I'm a cameraman while, I was, while I'm shooting right now. But uh, two years passed and things changed a lot. Uh, most of the people in Turkey knows who YouTubers are, what we do. And so in 23rd of April 2016, exactly the same day, one year after uh, I published my first video, we started our second season. And after that, my channel grow bigger and bigger. And you will see uh, new channels I create in the near future. So, uh, okay, I forgot to, of course. Yeah, okay. So, a great man said, with great power comes great responsibility. I don't know if anyone knows him, but uh, it was a quote from a Spider-Man movie. So uh, I can feel the responsibility of 800,000 people. I had a family of 800,000 people, and I can feel their responsibility every time I publish new videos, every time I create new videos. And I can, it's, it makes me very happy because uh, I entertain them, I teach them, I make them laugh, and even I make them cry with touching videos, of course. And uh, what makes me keep going is that I still get these comments in every episode I publish. So when I see these comments, this makes me keep going. So finally, here we come to the main question, the most speculated question in our country. What do we earn? What do YouTubers really earn? Well, we earn love. Thank you. <laughs>